What's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name's Chuck. It's Chris Walt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas real estate agent. <sighs> Woo! That was rough. So today I'm here on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley in a mass plan community called Summerlin. So today we are going to be touring Taylor Morrison. This is a gated community in the neighborhood called Crest Canyon. Now we are elevated pretty high here. So we're going to take a look at the, the beach and there's a total of three models, but you have a total of five, four plans, six, four plans to choose from. So let, let's get right into this and let's see what this property has to offer here. We're going to come off to the side. Let's take a look what we have bonus we do have this trex system which is really nice for your pest control if you guys don't know what this is basically your uh, pest company can come here and hook up a hose and spray chemicals in between the walls however you need to make sure you have the right chemicals if not you could void your warranty so when you do buy in a neighborhood like this because we are elevated pretty high you got to take a look at the lot and you want to see what the elevation of your driveway is like this one has a pitch and this is a pretty steep pitch so keep this in mind all right the pitch is very important because if you have a low car and you're trying to pull in a car here you could have some trouble and i ran across that when i bought my first home so each one will have its own pitch now according to city code just depending if you're in the city of las vegas city of henderson I forget what it was but i think the city of henderson was like a 24 inch pitch wow i do like this little courtyard area here now what you'll see here is this indicates that this is your gray line which is your drain line so on this one we have wood eaves What do you guys think about the color? I mean, let me know. I mean, this gimbal is not a very good gimbal. Whew, let's get inside because it is hot. So this model right here is a two story, three bedrooms plus a loft, two and a half bath. You do have a covered patio in the backyard, two car garage, and it's 1,813 square feet. The base price, the starting price, $540,900. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what's going on. And now if you guys are interested in this community, let me know or feel free to come up here and meet up with my sales agent, Marie. She's going to take care of you. Just let her know. You've seen the videos. You're with me. She's going to hook you up. That's right. She's going to hook you up. So in this one, it looks like we have an option of 24 by 24 on the tile here. Kind of gives you that more industrial look, which is really nice. And I love how this is kind of like more open than anything. Now, one thing I noticed about the kitchen cabinets, because we have nine foot uh, ceilings. Now, if you do this, look, you can double stack. Now, if you do a double stack, you can't go 42 because it's a nine foot ceiling. So this is actually a 36 plus another uh, 24. So what is that? 24, 16, 4, uh, do my math. Oh, come on, 40, 50, 60 inches. Then you have that crown. So... Just keep that in mind. I don't know if my math is correct or not. Let me know in the comments below. I mean, my math should be good. I'm Asian. What the hell? Let's take a look at this. So we have undermounted sink. And this gimbal just sucks. No, I'm going to have to get another gimbal, guys. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Like, I'm trying to live with this gimbal, but it's just not working. Here's your pull out trash. This is an option that you can do, which is really nice. So I do like that. Not bad for an island here. You got orange peel texture, beautiful backsplash. This is definitely a upgrade. Now, let me know in the comments below, would you cut your tile just like this or add a schluter? I'll probably add a schluter on here just to make it look more clean. You do have a light rail too underneath with the uh, light this is actually a upgraded stove here looks like 
But then maybe I would do, do a cook countertops because that's kind of like the thing nowadays. Let's take a look at some of these uh, cabinets. Not bad with the cabinets. Now the soft closing cabinets, you can also buy the mechanism yourself. And basically that's what this is right here, okay? You have the refrigerator. Now let's take a look on the outside. So the outside, oh, what is this? Save up to $50,000 on a new home in Las Vegas. Imagine finding a home that you love and secure financing and savings through Taylor Morrison. We can make it happen. There's no waiting, no wondering. We're offering financing savings up to $17,000, all up to $50,000. Now, if you guys aren't interested, like I said, contact my girl, Marie. But she's going to be up here anyway. I actually did a lot of deals with her. Now, let's take a look at this lot. Now, this is a pretty decent sized lot. Now, I noticed on this one only has one air conditioning unit. So, it tells me that it has to have a, at least a dual zone. Now, some, some builders may not offer that. And that's why you need to ask. Like when I, when I did my home or, you know, when I bought my home. It was only one air conditioning unit and it didn't have dampers at that time because this home was, I think it was built in 2006. So dampers didn't really come out where you could do like dual zones on here. Now this is a Linux air conditioning unit. Make sure to ask what that sear rating is too as well. The minimum uh, sear ratings now is about uh, 13 sear rating. The higher the sear rating is just more efficient the home will be. So we have the covered patio with the pavers. I'm going to go back inside because it's just scorching hot outside right now you do have options for the distribute sounds what do we have here so here's your linen closet here's your two-car garage so like this one right here so as you can see let me give an example this is a 12 inch Right? And what I mean by 12 inch, it reaches down 12 inches, it looks like. So according to the code, you can build it, but the driveway has to have a certain amount of slope. Sometimes it could be higher and flush, but because this is on a hillside, right? It slopes down a little bit, then it pitches down. So you need to find out, especially the type of vehicle that you have, right? It's just something to take into consideration when you are looking at lots. And a lot of people don't look at this. And that's the reason why you need to contact a real estate agent that understand these kind of things. So that way, when you're going through the process, people can literally help you out and explain to you or ask questions when you're at the sales office and you're picking your lot. Just a quick tip, no matter if you're buying here or anywhere, okay? So let's go back this way. Oh, it looks like we have a thermostat here. Then we have our Oh, this is pretty, a lot of room. So one thing I noticed because this has a lot of room, okay? I personally probably would get rid of this, the coat, right? The coat hanger. I would probably turn this in literally to a pantry to be honest with you and move my coat hanger, get rid of these shelves and probably put it here if you really want a coat hanger, right? For all your coats and stuff like that. So. That's probably what I would do. Let me know in the comments below. Is that the right thing to do? All right, let's go upstairs. The banister here, definitely an upgrade on the banister. Now I'm gonna come up here, give you guys a better perspective here. Here's the uh, loft area. Carpets are pretty nice and plush. Remember, you do have uh, options of the type of pad. Eight pound pad is a more of a quality pad. The heavier the pad, the thicker the pad. Now, when it comes to carpets and the pad, depending on the pet, you could do like pet product pads and stuff like that, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Nine foot ceilings on the second floor as well. Now, this loft is a pretty decent sized loft. Now, we have bedrooms on this side. We have our laundry room right here. You also have the option to do the, uh, the cabinets too as well. So in this one, it looks like we have a sprinkler system, exhaust fan, and our six, can, six inch can for the air conditioning unit. So you have our GFI here. Now, 
keep this in mind, just a quick tip. With this GFI, right, if something, um, if a circuit breaker breaks off, you need to know where your GFI is at because let's just say your breaker here trips in the bathroom. Where do you go find your GFI to reset it? So you need to ask them. Now this GFI could be designated to this room, this room, or this room, right? So if you trip something in this room, all the other rooms may trip. So you need to identify that right away. And it's probably best that you actually write that down. Just something to keep in mind. Now this is a two panel door. This is not a uh, solid core door. Oh, I love how they did that. Created with the, uh, the painting here. Not bad. Let's take a look at these windows. Oh, windows are screwed shut. All right, let's go down this way. Another Lego room, or not even another Lego room, but. This one just plain Jane. Let's go take a look at the primary. Looks like we have our attic access right here. Now there's a primary. Oh, I thought the primary has a balcony, but it doesn't. Well, this is definitely a king size bed, so it's pretty large. Now, TV, your Cat 6, your coax comes up here with the Smurf tube. Doesn't make any sense to even have a Smurf tube when you already have your electrical plug there, but sometimes you would do a Smurf tube if you have a console, but who uses the console anymore? 12 by 24 on the tile here. Actually, this is more than 12 by 24. This is, looks like almost a 36 on the towel. Yeah, it looks a lot better actually on 36. And I love this towel. Uh, we just saw literally clothes on Taylor Morrison on a property and the clients, they picked this towel and this is actually a very nice textured towel. It just feels so good. It kind of has that white matte finish and it's just nice and I don't know, just the feeling of it. Very chalky kind of type. I don't know if that makes sense. As you can see, the the brand here for all the fixtures are Moen. Basically, that's probably who they're contracted with. I mean, that's how you kind of identify it. That's all. All right, let's take a look here. What else we got here? We got our water closet. And that's pretty much it for this video home tour. And I got a couple minutes because I got to get to the other one. Now, if you guys want more information about this property, HOAs plus the masters, 150. You have SIDS and lids, roughly about twelve thousand uh, dollars annually. I think it's like six, six or seven hundred. So, again, if you guys are interested, let let us know. We'll definitely meet you guys up here or you can meet up my girl Marie. Uh, we definitely would like to do some business with you. Other than that, we really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Be blessed, folks. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt. If you guys wanna check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you wanna purchase a home and wanna get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and wanna get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.